Welcome back. In this class, we are going to solve a problem on the center of gravity or centroid of a T section. As you can see on your screen, this is a T section, and we have to find the center of gravity of this T section. So let's begin. Now, to find the center of gravity, we have to first check symmetry, okay? Symmetry. Do you think this T section is symmetric about any axis? Yes. Let me show you where. If you draw a line here, you can see this is a vertical axis, right? And this T section is symmetric about this vertical axis. What does that mean? It means that the X bar can be found easily. Okay. If the word, if the symmetry is about vertical axis, it means X bar can be found very easily. How? To find the X bar, we have to draw coordinate axis. Let this be X axis and let this be y axis okay like this okay this is the coordinate system right now to find the x coordinate we have to find the distance of this from the y axis from here to here this is x bar and you can see x bar is half of from here to here right is 12 and we have x bar is from only from midpoint of this to this okay so this is 12 so half of 12 is 6 so x bar is 6 okay x bar is 6 centimeter okay now we found the x bar now let's find the y bar we found x bar with the help of symmetry now you can see there is no another symmetry if i draw another line like this let me raise it first Now here you can see this if I draw another axis horizontal axis uh, something like this you can see this part is not same as this part therefore here is no symmetry right because here is no symmetry we have to find y bar analytically how we know y bar is equal to summation of a i y i divided by a where a is the total area right total area now now let's divide this t section into two parts okay i have to divide it in such a way i have to divide this in such a way so that the area of the elementary parts is easy to find so let me choose this triangle as part one this triangle okay you got the idea i will choose this to be element one and this and this rectangle okay as element 2 okay because there are only two elements so this will expand into a1 y1 plus a2 y2 whole divided by a is total area and total area is area of 1 plus area of 2 right 
a1 plus a2 okay where a1 is the area of 1 y1 is the distance of centroid of 1 from the x axis okay <clears throat> now you know let me talk about 1 you see 1 is like this right and draw i draw this here now where is the cg of this it is at the center point okay and we have to find the distance of this center point from the x axis right here is x axis right let me show it here this is the center part right now from here to the x axis this is y1 okay now y2 let me draw the 2 here this is 2 right element 2 here is x axis x axis now the midpoint of 2 is somehow here right here is from here to here is y2 right so let me draw this here from here sorry from here to here is the y2 right now how much is y1 y1 begins from half of total is 3 from here to here is 3 right here to here is 3 so half is 3 by 2 right so this much is how much 3 by 2 right and now from here from here to here is 10 right from here to here is 10 so from here to here is 10 so this much is from here to here is 10 so y1 because y1 is from here right to here right so how much is the total 10 plus 3 by 2 how much is it it is 10 plus 3 by 2 is 11.5 right so y1 is 11.5 right okay let me write here y1 is 11.5 centimeter and before i move on i want to tell you that if you want to download the pdf of this you can download it from the description or in the comments no need to worry about writing just try to understand this okay and again if you don't know this formula okay please watch the watch my previous videos okay you understand where did i get this anyways now y2 is how much y2 is from the center of 2 to x axis right now from total is the length of 2 or the depth of 2 is from here to here right it is 10 right and from here to here is 5 right half of 10 is 5 so y2 is equal to 5 centimeter right now a1 is how much 12 centimeter multiplied by 3 right a1 is area of section 1 whose length is 12 centimeter and depth is 3 centimeters so area is this multiplied with this right 12 multiplied by 3 12 centimeter multiplied by 3 centimeter how much is it it is 36 centimeter square right now a2 a2 is area of this element 2 right its width is 3 centimeter and the depth is 10 so a2 is 10 centimeter multiplied by 3 centimeter right which is 30 centimeter square right now so how much is y bar going to be a1 is 36 multiplied by y1 is 11.5 right plus a2 is 30 and y2 is 5 centimeter whole divided by a1 plus a2 is 36 plus 30 okay now when you will follow this you will get y bar is equal to 8.54 centimeter okay therefore we get y bar to be 
8.54 centimeter okay now let me erase all of this now we know in this t section if I draw it like this, right? Here is this is x axis, and here is y axis, right? This is x axis. So x bar is 6 centimeter right now uh, because this is symmetric okay the center of gravity of element 1 is here the center of gravity of element 2 is here okay when you join this line okay it is on this when you join this line this is the axis of symmetry it means the center of gravity lies always on this okay let me write this center of gravity lies lies on axis of symmetry right this is the vertical axis and this is axis of symmetry why because the left part is like l shaped inverted l and its right part is inverted l shaped too so they are both the mirror images of each other so this is the this is vertical axis and it is the axis of symmetry okay the center of gravity will always lie on the axis of symmetry okay now we know it will lie here and what is the value of y bar it is 8.54 okay centimeter okay now let me guess from here here to here is 10 right so uh, 8.5 bar is somehow here right so this the point of intersection of these two lines is the center of gravity g for center of gravity okay or cg this is the point of center of gravity or centroid of this t section again if you want to download the pdf please look in the description or in the comments and again if you have any problems you can contact me and I will definitely help you in problems and also I offer tutoring in strength of material one-on-one -on -one personally online if you want to learn from me please contact me for that and that's it for today see you in the next class thank you